Hi friends, I'm Venki Tachalam. Those who know me call me Venki. I'm a music aspirant and now working on my classical or Carnatic music. Even though I got trained for a little over 10 years in Carnatic music. <laughs> Uh, it always used to haunt me as to how do the music pundits uh, listen to a song and figure out which raga it is based off or how do the Carnatic vocalists do the alap or manodharma. Well, I figured out that it is nothing but just pure understanding of the swaras or the notes and the swarasthanas of a raga. What I will try and do here is just to give you a basic understanding of a raga uh, the notes, the swaras used in a raga, etc. Then we can use some common songs that we may already know uh, as reference which are based out of the same raga uh, and link it in our brains uh, for a better understanding and mainly to remember and relate to that particular raga. By this we should get an enhanced knowledge about each raga. A basic understanding that we need to have about classical music is that each raga is made out of seven swaras or musical notes. We call it the saptaswaras. They are mainly sa, re, ga, ma, pa, dha, ni. We have abbreviations for these swaras. Sa stands for shadjam, ri stands for rishabam, ga for gandharam, ma for madhyamam, pa for panchamam, dha for dhaivatam and ni for nishadam. Sa and Pa are always static notes, but we have three moderations each for the swaras Ri, Ga, Dha and Ni. And for the swara Madhyama, Ma, we have two moderations each. Permutation and combination of these swaras and moderations constitute different types of ragas. There are 72 parent ragas or Melakarta ragas as they are known and over 35,000 Janya Ragas or Child Ragas. The main structure of a Raga is defined by its Arohanam and Avarohanam. Arohanam defines the ascending order of the Swaras in the Raga and the Avarohanam defines the descending order of the Swaras. Enough of the technicalities. Let's listen to some music, let's know some Ragas and let's listen to some good songs based out of the same Raga.